Hi, my name is Byron Martin here at Logis Greenhouses, and today we're going to be talking about one of our more famous tropical fruits, the guava. Guavas are uh, tropical fruiting plants. Um, they come in several different forms. The one that I'm standing in front of here is what we would consider our typical guava, or sidium, that's used for fruit production and for juice production. And you can see the leaves are kind of um, broad um, and have the kind of that little bit of a um, hairy texture to them. There's the fruit. This is um, summertime here. Here's the flowers forming on them, and there's the green fruit that's um, developing. Uh, these produce large yellow fruit with a pink flesh to them, and when allowed to ripen, um, they get quite sweet. This variety is Ruby Supreme, which is um, a very good uh, variety for containers, fruits prolifically. You can see the tree is actually. Um, got a lot of buds coming on it, which is normal um, in the summertime for them to be quite prolific like this. In growing guavas in containers, we use a standard potting mix. We run them at temperatures preferably in the 50s or 60s. You can grow them colder if you had a cold greenhouse. If you brought them down into the 40s at night on a consistent basis, sometimes the plants do suffer. Um, as far as insects go, they do get mealybug and they can get scale. Um, they don't really have too much problems with spider mites and other insects, so they're pretty resilient. And their root systems are very strong. We really don't have any problems with root rot. So um, in growing them, this is a plant that has a central leader to it. We will um, allow this to go through its fruiting production in the summertime. And then this plant would probably be headed back a bit. We'd cut it down. You can see there's some spaces here where there's been old cut. So we really don't want this plant to get any larger than this. So. As you can see, some of these side branches is a lot of flowers and buds formation, and we'll just head that back once we get done with the season, the fruits harvested, and then allow it to grow out again. And that can be done any time during um, the winter time or once the fruit is harvested. Um, they pretty much grow year-round, although in the winter time, obviously in the north, that growth slows down quite a bit. As far as fertilizer goes, we feed them on a constant basis, which is um, usually with a liquid fertilizer here at Logies, but you can um, use a granular or a slow-release fertilizer on them. They do need feed, though. That's really important, um, especially when you're growing them in containers for them to be productive. And the fruit, when it ripens, it gets um, golden yellow, and then you can pick it off. Um, there's a little bit of a softness to it. So as you can see, this is about as big as we'd ever keep this plant. So you can see they really do fit in, um, in a container very well. They're very productive plants. Um, you could even keep it lower than this with a pair of pruning shears and still have a productive fruiting plant. So thank you for watching today. There's a little bit of information on how to grow um, the guava, which is one of the probably the easiest uh, fruiting tropical plants that we grow.